Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing a review of another high sapiente air fryer oven. I have done a review of a 25 liter oven and I absolutely loved it. It is a great machine and is my go-to. I use it all the time. So in this video, I am doing a review of a smaller version of this oven. This is a 15 liter oven, okay? And it can do air fry, it can do rotisserie, it can do broil, it can do steak, it can do fish, we can do a pizza, we can do bake, we can do toast, we can do unfreeze, which I think is going to be really, really handy, and we can also still do a dehydrate. So this is all the same as having a in a big oven, but for someone who might need a slightly less of a space. So the oven is a 15 litre and it is 1700 watts, which is still really, really good. So without further ado, let me get out of the box and we'll see what we have. So there we are guys, have a look at this. Isn't that lovely? This one, I must say, looks a little bit more modern, whether it's because it's black in colour, I don't know, but I think this is really, really sweet. Um, it kind of doesn't really, doesn't look like it's um, overly too small, but it's very compact, but 15 litres, it's kind of enough to do, um, I'm pretty sure for the family of two, absolutely um, perfectly. So this thing was here on the top of the box, this is a, our little baking sheet or baking tray. And if you have a look inside now, guys, all the accessory bits and bobs are inside. So if I get those out for us, we'll have a look, see what we have. Okay. Here we go. So you can see inside the oven there. You can see it's got a fair amount of space in there. So, here we are. First things we have. It's a shelf. So we've got shelf and we have the rotisserie part there to put through the chicken. They're currently tied up together. And obviously the handle to put chicken, take chicken in and out. Okay, so we have a little crisper tray. Let's get that out. Uh, you've got the rotisserie spikes in there as well. So a little crisper tray to slide in so you can do your chips or whatever else you want in there. Okay, and we have a little silicone mitt, have a look. Just kind of handy. So if you don't have um, anything to hand, you can just use that and you can live there, you can just take your little trace, it's cute. Oh my, the joke of it last time, it's lovely. Right, okay, so as usual, the beauty of this, it comes with this standard one year guarantee and you have another extended guarantee if you register your guarantee on their website, which is absolutely great. Okay, you guys have then your manual. Again, that tells you anything you need to know. Then the back of the um, manual, you also have the accessory combination. So it tells you the distance and where to put the shelves on when you're cooking on multiple shelves. You can buy a load of accessories for the oven as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So you have a choice. It comes with plenty to get you started, but there's a few of things in there. If you really wanted to push the boat out, it's all available to purchase separately. And of course you get a beautiful, beautiful book of recipes. And again, guys, I always said the, um, having a recipes and recipes with pictures, it's an absolute must. To me, you see many books or many companies that produce like ovens and things like that. And they just give you a recipe book that just shows you a recipe itself. But I think it's so important to see what you're cooking or before you start cooking it, you know, we eat with our eyes and I kind of want to see when they look and see that chicken. I'm like, I'm really hungry. It's breakfast time, but I would like to eat the chicken. You know, it's very important. And there's loads, loads of things there to show you how to do baked potatoes. You've got sandwiches. Um, anything that you guys can possibly think of, it's there for you. So literally this is that. So next thing I'm going to do guys, I'm going to take you through the controls. So guys, here we have the controls. So let's put the oven on. Okay, you can see it's uh, display lights up nicely. So we have here guys is the air fry, we have rotisserie, we have broil, we have steak, and then we have fish. And then on the other side we have a pizza, we have bake, we have toast, and then we have unfreeze and dehydrate. We have this knob list to control. So first thing we're gonna do guys, to control the menu, we're pressing the menu button, and then we can rotate our little knoblet to control and choose what we want. The beauty of that, as you can see guys, that we have the time and the temperature pre-selected for each of the things here. So for example, fish, we have steak at 230 degrees and 12 minutes, 
Okay, then we have, say, broil at 230 degrees and 20 minutes and so on. The beauty of that is, well, we can control, for example, here on the broil settings, we want to change time. So we press the time menu and we can control it up or down depending on our preference. The same is applicable to the temperature. All we have to do is to press the temperature button and we can control the temperature to our choice. Okay. And another thing we have, guys, is a light button. So as you can see below, we can illuminate the inside of the oven. So if you're cooking something and you want to check out the what's going on, you put the light on and then when you finish, you just turn it off to save energy. So all I'm going to do, guys, now is I'm going to wipe up the oven clean and let's cook some garlic bread pizza. So guys, let's cook our garlic bread pizza. I have here homemade pizza dough. This is 350 grams of dough. If you check out the channel, you'll see I've done the recipe how to make, how I make a pizza dough. So let's get this out. Oh, look at that. Mmm. That is what we call a nice pizza dough. Look at that. Right. Okay. Make sure, guys, when you do any cooking, anything like this, that your worktop and your hands are super clean. Okay? I like to do half of my pizza dough by hand and then just roll it over a little bit. This is generally how traditionally they make pizzas. So let's just roll it a little bit to make sure. Get the semi thin shape. Okay? We're making sort of a medium crust pizza because I have a lot of butter to go on top. So we need to make sure it's going to fit in our tray. Okay, so I have my little baking tray here. I am going to just put a little bit of flour, just a little bit, to make sure that pizza is not going to stick. Make sure the pizza is floured well as well. Okay, so and we put our little pizza so stretch that up a little bit, put that in there. You can buy, okay, a um, little round insert for the oven for the pizza, but a tiny bit big, that's okay, that'll do. Right, I have, guys, some softened garlic butter that I made myself, okay, and it does have a little bit of herbs in there as well. So I like my garlic bread pizzas really, really garlicky really strong and really full of butter so i'm literally going in and just pressing the butter in don't forget it will melt so it will kind of cover majority of the pizza okay oh escaping so put it in there it is a messy job but somebody's got to do it okay oh and it smells so good it smells lovely okay so this is what we have i've got some homegrown curly leaf parsley which is going to go on the top for extra flavour. Let's load it up. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Honestly guys, that'll be the best thing you ever have. Okay. So, this is what we have. So I'm going to quickly just wash my hands. So, hands are clean. So this is the beauty of our garlic bread pizza. We are going to put it in and put it at the bottom. Okay, and we're going to use the pizza function. So, putting it on, we're selecting oh, for the menu pizza 230 degrees, seven minutes. That should do this nicely. So, let's cook. Here we are. So, let's wait and see. So, the pizza finished cooking. I had to top it up, guys, to 10 minutes because we wanted to, to um, brown off slightly, um, a little bit more on the top. So, there we have it. It's looking absolutely yummy and it smells yummy too. So, let me get this out for you to have a look. So excited. Here we go, guys, look. Absolutely, oh, perfect. Look at that. No sticking whatsoever. That's absolutely brilliant. And those things are so handy. So there we are, guys. Look. A beautiful garlic bread pizza. It's nice and cooked underneath. Crisped up. So, so exciting.
end. Okay. Oh yeah. That's not quite in the middle. <laughs> well. So. Here we are, guys. Look at that. Look at that dough. It's risen in the middle. It is absolutely lovely. And it smells so gorgeous. So I am super, super happy. It's very difficult, guys. I found with uh, some air fryers, sometimes if they don't circulate properly, you end up like burning the tops of things before things are cooked through properly. And this is just perfect. This is literally spot on underneath, spot on on the top. And I absolutely love it. So I'll put down the link in the description guys below any information to obviously where to purchase it and anything else and um, hopefully guys you enjoyed the video because I think this oven is absolutely brilliant as I mentioned before because it is slightly compact not all of us have a massive kitchen so it's nice to be able to have an option of the oven that offers you so much but in a compact little um, in a compact little design so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and I see you soon bye bye